Right. <clears throat> I'm going to paint a really, really dull, sort of horrible ish sort of day. Although I quite like them days because they are good for painting. They make good paintings, I think, with dull, cold weather. Makes a good painting. So that's what we're actually trying to paint. A dull, horrible day. So I'll come in from there with that. I reckon that looks a bit more blue in it. Let's get some more cerulean blue in that. That's it, a bit more cerulean blue in there. That's nicer. And then I think I'll just come from here. That's going to be me. Water. Just so cool. There. This is going to be my sky. So, pull that through there a bit. Through here. And some dark bits in. And I'll bum, 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 bum. Maybe just leave a little bit of light in that middle bit there, perhaps. Like a tiny bit like that. That'd probably look nice. Just come into there. Something like that. There. There. That's good. Right, so now give that bit of a dry. <coughs> dry because some, some of these background mountains on so with this sort of there oh that's nice up there like that something like that across there uh, let's take it up there i think it's going to fade out down that bottom bit plenty of water on this bottom bit here i think i'll just That right. I think what I'll do is just fade that straight into my water, I think, for now. There we are. That's my water. My water's got some drips in it. That's alright. I'll just come, cut through it a bit like that. Get rid of them drippy bits. There we are. Lovely grubbly. Right. Uh, that's all. Well, let's give that a quick dry. some trees there as it comes down far. Let me get into my mix like a thick green colour for these trees. A bit of green in it there, just a tiny bit. Can't go too mad, that's it'll bring it too close and it'll not look as good. And then I think I think I'll lay a little bit of green in that then mountains as well or hills or wherever they are and then I think there say a bit more grasses coming over there look not grasses um, pines they look like painting grasses if you paint them close up the pines that's it and then let's bring it down I've got dipped a slight all oh, that color by the way this color what I've used so far is all um, Cerulean blue mixed with a bit of Payne's grey and now I've just added a touch of red just in there on that corner just to slightly warm it that tiny little bit and I mean a tiny little bit I don't want it warm too much right, this actually I've got added a tiny bit of green in here this actually looks like it comes across a bit further get a bit more of that green on me brush that's better it looks like it goes down and then sort of comes back up again a bit, something like that, that'll do. There. Trying to make sure that bottom's 
about smooth there. That's nice. Right now I need more green mixing in my paint. Lovely jubbly. Nice bit of green on the brush there. That's just <coughs> green. It's just yellow and blue. Just mix yellow and blue and you'll have a nice green. Bring this one down a bit closer. To about there. I need that paint to look thicker there. Oh, there's an air on my brush to look thicker there than down there to throw that bit back if I can. Look at that. See, the end of my brush is battered up, that uneven actually makes it brilliant for painting stuff like this. Well, that comes right down towards that side. Dee, 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 dee. I can leave some equal highlights in if I want and then what I think I'll do is I come down I think I'll lose the green just put more into this pale blue and then as I come down further I'll add some of that warmer reddy colour in yeah, let's add some of that warmer reddish colour in that looks nice and bring that across a bit closer there Uh, let's go back into some of that green. I'll mix some green ready. I already mixed some. So um, I had some green ready. But yeah, if you, so I keep saying winter me green. It's yellow and blue, what I've mixed up to mix me green. And then mixed in, because it's hitting all these other dull colours, it's not looking too bright. So if you want, because you don't want a bright green on this, you, you don't want to hardly be able to tell it's green. It wants to virtually look grey with a tiny, tiny hint of green in it. And I mean a tiny hint. I mean that red there is going to kill this green anyway. Red really kills green. Um, <coughs> yeah, I think that's nice. Um, actually, what I think I'm going to do, especially on that bit there, wet my brush. Oh, yeah. Is this dry? No, I'm going to dry it before I do out. I think what's happened when I tried to um, where it dripped down. And I tried to go over it, the paper's disintegrated, it's given me these little lumps. But it not matter because it makes it look alright. But anyway, right, <clears throat> that's why I dried it just to try and brush them lumps off. Although, like I say, they do actually look bad. Right, so if I just do that in there, and then I'm just going to pop in a tiny bit of shadow under there, I think, just a tiny bit of summer. This wax is dead choppy, so there's hardly any shadows in it. But a tiny little shadow just in there. Look quite nice. That's it, just to show that there's a bit of tiny bit on me piece what I'm work me photo what I'm working from. There's a tiny bit of shadow under here. Probably quite a bit less than what I've just done. But I'll put a bit extra in because I just like it. There's no shadow under that back one because it's so choppy. But that don't mean that I can't have one. These choppy waters, they're not so much the most difficultest to paint, but they're quite difficult to make them look nice in a painting. Right, just stick a bit on under there. Tiniest little bit, look. That's nice. I like that. Tiny bit more under here now. I've done that. Make that one. Tiny bit stronger. Oh, well, that's plenty now. Don't get carried away. Don't get carried away, Bertie. Right, um, now. Mm, let's give that a try. <laughs> I 
think what we'll do now is just whack some landing. So if I come in here, dee, 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 just get some little rocks and stuff in. I use a lot of this grey colour, what's already in me picture anyway. It's my grey colour now, I'm going to try and take some highlights out with that. Scrape them out. There we are, that's that. Then, get some reds in. These will stand out a bit more. Put some of them in. There we are. Some of them reds in. Oh, see, that's nice. Oh, and then we'll get some scrapes on top of them as well. I'll just stick that in there. Can you see what I'm doing? I've had to pull it down so it can get me. Let's take it up there like that, look. So they're like the tops of my rocks. I'm just scraping them out with a card look. There, that's all I'm doing. And then, uh, right, let's go back to this grey colour. We'll stick some of that in the bottom of there. Like I think I think that'll do for them there. Right now, I'm thinking, no, let's stick with this grey colour. It's going to be red. Let's get some uh, more blue in that. That's not, oh, that's good. Stick some of them blues in there. Look. Nice. Oh yeah, I like that. That's it. Right, so now so we'll come across here. Get some of these blues in. So I think we'll start right up here. Just come across. Get some bits of landing. Something like that. That's it. Mix a few different colours in there. I've plopped a bit of that red in, warmed it up a bit, but that's going to make it come a lot, 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 lot closer. That's okay. Uh, I use my little scraper for little rocks in here. Just the little rocks and stuff. Actually, it looks quite rocky as it is. Yeah, let's get some on there. There we are. Just some little rocks and stuff. There. Yeah. Let's bring some more bits across here. Thinking some of that, like that, that's it. Some of them reds in. Let's get some darker colours in here now. This is all my rocks and stuff. And this needs to be a bit darker so it stands out from this light stuff. There. That's it. Try what that looks like. Get some more rocks in there. So, right, so I've got these big rocks in front here, look. There we are. Now I'll fiddle about too much, just whack them in quick. Some little rocks back there, look. Yeah. That's that. And you can put some shapes back in here. Brush it again. Quite rocky. <coughs> Sit back and look at that. Yeah, that's looking slightly warmer than this. So let's get a little bit to this is where you sit back, you see, and have a look. Let's have a little bit of this blue colour and just come in, stick a bit of that blue colour back in there. Blue will definitely cool that back down. Look. Make it recede more back into the background. So I've got that red in there for my interest, but the blue to make it recede back. And then mm, let's get some more, perhaps get some more reds into here just to bring it a bit closer. Look, there we are. Mm. 
these reds just that bit warmer and just pulling it that bit closer There, that's a, let me just sit back and have a look at that. Yeah, that looks all right to me. Right, let's get a couple of mods in sky and a signature on it. Right, where shall I make bods? Let's have them. Is that dry enough to rest me on? Yeah, just that's our one there. That's Peter and that's Paul. Both are looking for worms. That's all I need. Oh, I lost my brush. I haven't put no letters on it yet. I need my letters on. Let's get some. Let's get some black colour. And just pop it there. B. D. Bertie D. There you go. Jobby, we're good. See the on beach. In it. 